good morning children welcome to my class so in your english literature class we shall continue this poem that is don't give up by phoebe cary okay now as you already know that this poem gives us a very strong message okay so i have written here you see some lines i have written about this poem on the board you have to copy this lines and i shall explain you and you have to copy this lines in your english literature copies okay so you see here first of all this poem is written by phoebe cary and it conveys the message that failures should not become an obstacle for achieving our goals in life if you fail that does not mean that you are not going to succeed or you are not going to get success in your life okay you have to try the foremost thing is here you have to keep trying all right this poem describes to us the importance of being patient and never giving up our efforts yes our efforts should be there how much we are behind a particular work that should be there our efforts should be there if we fail also that does not matter but at the end we are going to succeed or we are going to get success we have to be patient what is the meaning of patient you have to control yourself you have to be patient yeah first time i can't i can't succeed so i'm not i'm not going to do this work i'll leave this work no in the first attempt if you can't it does not matter in the second attempt in the third attempt in the fourth attempt you will get success okay it tells us never to be disheartened by our failures it tells us never to be disheartened means it tells us never to be sad see as human beings we are sad when we can't do a particular work which we want to do if we can't do that work we are obviously sad it can be in any field it can be anything if you want to play something you can't play you will see we we feel disheartened isn't it but we have to keep trying we have to keep trying all right so children you have to write this lines in your copies okay because this poems this poem gives us a very strong message okay This poem is written by Phoebe Cary and it conveys the message that failures should not become an obstacle for achieving our goals in life. This poem describes to us the importance of being patient and never giving up our efforts. We have to keep trying, okay? It tells us never to be disheartened by our failures. We should not be disheartened, we should not be sad, we should not give up. That's why the heading is don't give up. Now, please see the first four lines I shall discuss. If you have tried and have not won, if you have tried, you have kept trying, and you have not got, you have not got success. That means you have not won. Never stop for crying. Don't just uh, stop and start crying. Okay? Don't cry about that work. That don't cry about that. all that's good and great is done just by patient trying patient you have to keep on trying again and again so all that's good and great is done just by patient try if you are patient if you keep trying again and again you are going to get success you are going to succeed though young birds in flying fail very young birds when they just hatch from the eggs they are very small they are very young after few days though young birds in flying fail they first attempt they can't fly very high they cannot go to the sky still their wings grow stronger still they try their wings become stronger and the next time they can keep up a little longer see first day they will fall second day they will fall third day they will fall fourth day they can go a little higher and again if they fall their wings will be stronger okay though the study oak has 
known many a wind that bowed her. Now you see here, though the study oak has known, we are here, we are talking about this uh, tree. Oak is a tree, okay? Study oak, very strong tree. Study oak, okay? Very strong tree. Many a wind that bowed her when storms come, when very strong winds come. What happens? The tree is, it bends like a bow. She has risen again and grown. She has risen. Here yeah, we are talking about this tree. So you see here, yeah, she has written, uh, risen. Here yeah, we are talking about this oak tree. This pronoun, she is used for oak tree. Okay. She has risen again and grown. Loftier and prouder. Again taller and prouder. With head high. Okay. If by easy work you are bet, you are defeated by easy work. Some very easy work you are given and you are defeated. Who the more will prize you? Who will give you the reward? Who will praise you? Who will admire you for your work? Gaining victory from defeat. You have to gain victory from defeat. If you lose and then you, you gain victory, that is something else. That success is something else. First time you don't get success. In second time you see, you will enjoy it more. Gaining victory from defeat. If you are defeated, then you get the victory. That's the test that tries you. That's the test. Actually, that's the test that tests you. Okay, that is the actual test. When you are defeated and then you get the victory, that success is something else. Okay, that is the real test. Okay, children. So, this is a very beautiful poem which gives us hope, which gives us inspiration. Okay, that we should not give up. At any point of our life, today you are small, tomorrow you may be big and obviously you will be big. You will be great, not only big, you all will be great. Okay, so I hope in every field of your life, you should never give up. Wherever you be, wherever you are, okay, you should never give up. Keep that faith in yourself that I am not going to give up. I can do everything. Everything is possible. Okay, thank you. Just go through the poem. At least try to learn the first eight lines of the poem. Okay, thank you.